Now, still on the A-League, and we've got a bit of a breaking story for you, with a team from North Queensland being proposed to possibly play in the competition as early as 2009. Yeah, James Gage is the managing director of the proposed A-League franchise called Northern Thunder, and he joins us on the line now. James, thanks for your time this evening. How realistic is this goal of a team from Townsville or North Queensland playing in the A-League by 2009? Oh, look, uh, gentlemen, it's very realistic from our point of view. Uh, we've now got um, superb facilities here with the uh, Dairy Farmer Stadium and the uh, Townsville Sports Reserve as our training facilities. We now have, uh, as of tomorrow, we'll be releasing um, our backer. Um, it will be our initial start-up investor um, to, the, to our advisory committee and to the uh, public. And so, uh, and as well as uh, a couple of other things with the uh, logo and the club name. James, what's been the feedback from the A League? We've um, had various discussions with FFA and kept them informed uh, of where we've been at all along. And uh, when New Zealand looked like falling over, um, FFA actually considered us to um, fast track into the A-League if New Zealand didn't come up with their money. We had a, a slight uh, delay, but uh, New Zealand got their money and then we've now gone forward from there and uh, secured our, our dollars um, and in the process securing uh, some very interesting sponsorship uh, proposals uh, in South Africa next week. But are you guys not stuffed if the a if the A League doesn't expand to ten teams? So essentially, you've got to wait for for someone else that's, to play catch up as well. That's right. Um, oh, look, there'll be two teams. Two teams uh, we believe uh, will be added, and uh, FFA currently have a uh, consultant looking into expansion of of when to expand because the the eight clubs need to be sustainable. And uh, the other thing with that is um, we're not, we don't really mind who the other club is that joins us as long as we're one of those two. James, the, um, obviously the community in, in northern Queensland is uh, massive in terms of you know, support for, for sport. We've seen uh, the Cowboys do well in Townsville. The crowds have been fantastic at Dairy Farmers there. That's not your problem, I would imagine. Your initial problem will be getting enough cash together. I mean, what, what sort of financial goals uh, do you have to, or financial hurdles do you have to get over to make this happen? Look, the initial start-up was um, $2 million. Uh, our our uh, investor, which will be released tomorrow, um, is uh, putting up that, that and more, and for security for... Uh, potential other investors to come on board um, until the FFA extend the expansion of the two clubs. So uh, that that isn't a, pro a problem to us. Um, and and now that we've secured that, we're now looking at other sponsorship opportunities in northern Australia because we're not just Townsville. We're where our development footprint is basically from Rockhampton around to Darwin. We're currently in discussions with a couple of companies about sponsoring um, some academy setups in uh, the South Pacific, uh, Papua New Guinea, Darwin, as well as our Townsville and North Queensland bases. So it's all, it's all looking good, and the more sponsors that we can get on board, uh, that's better for the community as well. James, uh, we'll have to leave it there. Good luck with everything tomorrow. Look forward to seeing who that mystery backer is and um, maybe seeing the A-League in 2009. Thanks for your time this evening. Thanks very much, guys.